I'm chilling, bro. Talk to me, man. What's all right, all right. Let's do this thing. Basketball Hustle TV, what's happening? All right, this is Coach Rod P standing next to the man of the hour, the man that put this event together. This is Coach Paul McMillan. Coach, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Great. Glad to hear that. So listen, Coach, you know, tell everybody that's going to watch this video what exactly was your concept when you put this clinic together? Uh, basically, it's just, just something to help the city, to help to be able to help our kids. Um, if we can bring the adults closer together, share ideas, network, uh, work together, then it only helps the kids and benefits the kids. Um, at the end of the day, ultimately, it brings the basketball in our city uh, to another level and get it back to where it actually should be. Absolutely. Couldn't agree with you more. So listen, we heard a lot of people talk today. I saw you taking notes yourself. You know, any one per particular person stood out to you? Man, I'm going to tell you, uh, I've heard Coach Mack several times. Uh, Coach Mack did a great job. Uh, I, I heard Coach Pullen before. Coach Pullen did a great job. Um, I, I've heard Coach Hill before. Uh, we talk all the time. He did an outstanding job. But uh, more than anything, I think what, what was big and great, uh, Coach Wyatt, Coach Brian Wyatt from Hughes, uh, just kind of commanded the respect of the room. I think he did an awesome job uh, for a lot of people just didn't know him. Um, and, and he came in, he did an awesome job. Um, just just kind of, again, commanded the respect of the room. Um, people were tuned in, they were listening. Um, all the coaches did a great job, but I think the biggest surprise of the day was how, how well uh, and, and, and organized and, and things of that nature that Coach Wyatt was. Okay, okay, so going forward, you know, an event like this, I know you addressed the coaches, said that you're looking forward to doing another clinic in the fall. Going forward, do you see anything different, any 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 add-ons that, that, you know, you're going to do from this trial run at it? Because it was very successful. Well, listen, we, we, we're going to try to keep doing them one or two a year um, just, to, to, again, to benefit the city. Um, I mean, add-ons, I mean, some different we'll do. We kind of did most of Tried to run this like a more of a networking opportunity, a chance to kind of interact. Um, moving forward, we'll do some on the court stuff, um, you know, where coaches can still interact, but actually, you know, get to see the X and O stuff live on the court. Um, you know, we got some, we got probably, uh, when I first initi initiated this and started doing this, I probably had about 20 to 25, you know, head coaches in Division ones and several other college coaches that you know, said they wouldn't mind coming out to do it. So we have a lot of options for the fall. We don't want to exhaust all of our options early. We want to kind of spread it out um, so that, that we can keep it going and, and keep being successful in doing it. Well, Coach, I wish you nothing but the best. I, I have to admit, I, I learned a lot today. I took a lot of notes, and, and I can't wait to, to maybe get back on the sidelines so I can start implementing some things that I learned tonight. Hey, we all appreciate you. Thanks for doing everything for Basketball Hustle. Any shout-outs? Shout out to my wife, Amy. One love. Basketball, Basketball Hustle, Hustle TV. TV.